Good morning, first grade mathematicians. This is Mr. Maraca. You are at this time you are we're going to do warm-up problems. So what you need is a piece of paper and a pencil, and you are going to solve these four problems. I'm going to read you the question. And after I read you the question, you are going to, I'm going to give you five minutes to solve the questions. All right? Here are the questions. Here's the question. Would you rather? Students in a first grade class answered the question, would you rather drink white milk or chocolate milk? Here are their data. Answer these questions. How many students prefer white milk? How many students prefer chocolate milk? How many students answered the question? On another sheet of paper, draw two cube towers to show how students responded. All right, at this time, Pause this video and you're going to have five minutes to solve, solve the problem. Make sure that you are using different strategies like drawing sticks, you can, using Unix cubes, using your hands, whatever strategy you work you, that helps you, make sure you solve this problem. All right, go ahead. All right, now we are going to solve it together. Now, I'm going to read you the question. Would you rather students in a first grade class answer the question, would you rather drink white milk or chocolate milk? Here are the data. Hmm. Well, that's a very interesting question. Well, let's, boys and girls, let's look at the first question. How many students prefer white milk? All right, what you would do is, Mr. Maraca is gonna look at the data and say, well, here is the data for white milk, so I'm gonna color code it red. Let's count the cubes and see their answer. Remember, each cube is a student's answer. All right, let's count together. Let's use our strategies to count. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Boys and girls, how many? How many students prefer white milk? 11. Good job. So 11 students prefer prefer white milk. All right. Number 2. How many students prefer chocolate milk? All right, Mr. Maraca is going to look at the chart again. Looking at this data, the, choc um, the chocolate milk data is over here. So I'm going to color code it green. Let's count together. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. All right, now, how many students prefer chocolate milk? You should have gotten fifteen students 
prefer chocolate milk. So 15 students. All right. Now we want to know how many students answered the question. Hmm. Well, looking at our data, I know that 11 students prefer white milk and 15 students prefer chocolate milk. So how many students all together answer the question? Well, we know that this is going to be an addition problem. What, are, what two numbers are we going to add? Right, we're going to add 11 and 15. So I'm going to, using, let's use one of our strategies using making a diagram. So I'm going to do is, in the diagram, we know that one, we know that one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So you can use cubes, you can use tally marks, however you want to count to make sure you're together. So you have eleven, you have eleven students that like white milk. Then you're going to add. Then you're going to add the students who, then you're going to add the students who prefer chocolate milk. So you're going to write, you're going to have one, you're going to add 11 plus one, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So now what you're going to do is you, you're going to add 11 plus 15 using your diagram. You may. You may add up. You can use numbers. Or what I like to do is making sure that I to making sure my double check my answer, then I count every cube. So I once I count the red, so I have one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and then I'm gonna count on the green. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. Now I know that my answer would be 11 plus 15 would equal 26. All right, good job. Now, number four, another sheet of paper, draw two to cube towers to show how students responded. You can answer this any way. I'm going to show you how I answered it. So we have, we have 11 that said yes.
to chocolate to to white but to white milk and we have fifteen to chocolate. So what I like to do is make unit cubes. So we know so I'm gonna make it so your cube So if you one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, make your ten cube of ten, and then make sure because we're using when we go when we use base ten, we're gonna then we're gonna add one more and make it eleven. So this is how many people this is how many people that said yes. Now I'm going to I'm going to use a different color. Now I'm going to use the black color to show how many people that liked choc chocolate milk. So I would I'm going to make my 10 unit cubes. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then make sure that counting on, you're going to use your little 1 cube. So 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So we have 11 that said yes to white chocolate milk, and we have or white white milk, and then we have 15 to choc to chocolate milk. Make sure you answer all these. Make sure you have all these questions answered. If you need to review this re video, you please please go back to the beginning and make sure make sure you have all. Make sure you show your work.